That's right, people. It's the next day. In the box it means that we are replacing the CV axle in the triangle. Oh man, things come up. And before you know it, you're heading home. Anywho. That's what we're doing. Uh, yeah, took it for a test drive there, obviously. Um, determined it was a CV joint, talked to the customer. Uh, I didn't talk to him about the bumper issue. Uh, forgot about that. Um, we'll have to talk to him about it. Oh, and we tell him later about coming to pick it up. over there, the big 8.1 liter. Yep. Big power. But that's done. Just waiting for the uh, K&N air filter to dry after cleaning it. Not a fan of the oiled K&N filters. But each two is out, I suppose. Oh, that looks like a lot better than the one we have. So, figured I might as well bring you guys along. Haven't got the AC charged on there yet either, so don't be posting all kinds of comments about that. It will get, oh, sorry. It will get done. Um, yeah, I think that's I think that's it. We're ready to rip and tear, so why don't we? Show you what I was seeing. If you're wondering why you couldn't hear anything, because I had the mic on backwards, just realized that now. Uh, uh, anyway, that's what we're dealing with. So she's she's hooped. This is, hopefully this will fit in there. Oh, it's not going to. The bottom one. Even better in reverse. Oh. I think he's got a bushing seized in them brakes. my knuckles three times already. I don't feel like doing it again. Every tool has a hammer side, right? So there it goes, says. I have to agree. Bad. 
that every tool doesn't have a power tool side. I'd be getting me one of them. Oh, I'm gonna take a nap. I'll tell you when we're done here. There we go. Uh, there it is. Not horrible. Definitely, definitely getting down. Ugh. What? Oh, what are we gonna hook you on? Right there. Brought some persuasion. Well, if that didn't work, plan B. There's an O ring on there. I'm pretty sure. Get the hub grappler out, but it's a lot of work for. Let's see. Let's see if we can get it. Dice. Yeah. Plan B. Or are we at the plan C now? Probably, eh? Whichever. This is the uh, Astro 78830. Oh, I call it the hub grappler. It's not actually, I realized that. But it was. Same deal. Uh, probably the what size this is. Uh, 33 mil. Probably not. But there it is. Folks, people, whatever you like to be called, YouTubers, the old YT. Oh, I'm supposed to get real. Oh, you stay. just in time, didn't I? I just about killed myself. Ugh. Gotta love the old rust. Oh, 
mechanic's best friend. No, oh, not really. Didn't even have time to warn you about the safety squints. She just popped right off. All right. Oh. So close. Oh, I probably should get the right one. I know. I said it a 33, so it should be 32, maybe. Maybe there was a car key in there. to take off the wheel speed sensor before we pull the axle out. I'm not sure if they maybe don't know where we live here up in northern BC. Oh, somebody needs it. And I'm back. Where were we? I think, uh, I think we were going to try, oh yeah, we were going to try and take a wheel speed sensor out. Now cross your fingers. Oh. Oh man. Hopefully the rest of it's coming out with it. Peace. Hooray. Okay. They said to take the tie rod off. I don't know that we really want or need to do that. Sorry, not not that. That. And that's not it. What do we got there? 18 maybe? Oh. That's the problem when You're the only guy in the shop when you're the mechanic and the receptionist and the bookkeeper. And There's that hammer. Ugh. Uh -huh. I don't think I know what's happening. I don't think I'm gonna like it. It's spinning on me. Well, maybe not. I 
Yeah, no. We need something different. Anyway, what was I saying? Oh, yeah. Yeah, it's spinning on me. That's what I thought. Uh, so it's nice to impact them. Talking about being the only one in the shop. Yeah, it's tough. But we just redid a brand new shop. Well, an old building, but just uh, rebuilt it, I guess. Rented it. And Oh, we got a cafe on the front and indoor virtual golf going over there. Now I'm getting the shop going in the back here. It's open for a couple weeks. Here, we were out of town before. Now we're in town. Small time before, but we're trying to get, get with the program here. But I don't want to go from higher. All kinds of people before we know we're going to pay the bills. So, for the time being, it's just me. That's okay. That was easy. All right. Yeah. Oh. There's that rubber seal out of that AC condenser that blew out. Oops. So we're going to do the top. That's what it looks like. Which means we're going to separate this. Well, we may not have to. We may not have to. All we got to do is get enough room to get that out of the way. So, all right, like this. Not that size. Uh, oh. We have some other tools here that we got. That's the 18, we don't need that. That's the 21. Bingo. Oh, yeah. Piece of cake. going in the right direction, maybe something. Then, what are we going to use here? Uh, gonna be worse I'm a thinking huh. 
some days. I think it was serious. There wasn't no messing around. Oh, that's a good one. Never have the right tools. Have all the tools you need. Some that you don't. Except for one, that you do, it's inevitable. Ah. Oh, so what we were doing is trying to get the splines out of hub which we've done and now we need to separate or pry out the back portion and too long of a pry bar Get a little bit more aggressive with it, beat it with the old hammer. Let's see if it'll come out now. Yes, it will. Does it not fit between there? It's got to. Maybe we've got to. Are you kidding me? It didn't say in service data that we have to remove that, but. I'm afraid, ladies and gentlemen, that you do. It does not fit between the fork of that strut. And I ripped another pair of gloves. It's going to be like the tenth pair on this job. Hi. Yep. You think that was a bad idea too? Nope. I think you could use the same size on one piece. Now, oh, where's that? Brass snapper. A little bit of the white crusties in there. Oh, oh yeah. I think 
that's why they want you to do it that way. Maybe. hands this would be so easy but, but I don't it actually went out a lot easier than it's going in First time. First try. Problem, man. All right. Got that done. Cut the shaft input. Use the little dead blow to make it uh, actually I tried to use the dead blow to put it in its home that did not work oh, yeah. so we just got a little bit more manly and gave it a little push home she went ourselves a jack. Much better. Lifted it off of its off of its jack mount there. So it must just need some downwards pressure. That's not the right one. That is. Oh, <laughs> I did it. Oh, I did it. So it was spinning, the ball joint was spinning in the hole. Had to use the impact to get it impacted. We should be able to pull that jack out now. Oh. 
I'm gonna put the uh, stabilizer bar back on. And that's spinning again, as we thought it might. Hello. Okay. There we go. Click. I heard it. Did you hear it? It only goes one way. And I got my old wrench stuck on there. <sighs> I can't even remember where we started with this job. It's not so bad. It's a good job. Oh, uh, did I put my sock bit away? Apparently. Oh, this one's on a 31. It's a 32. So we'll get the torque specs for that. Uh, I might as well do that now, I guess. So, they didn't want this, uh, <laughs> they don't want this nut coming off. Torque to 200 and, no, I forgot. 200. 29 foot pounds. Come on. There we go. Now she's moving. 28, 29. Might be in my way. We shall see. Possibly. I'll see if I can work around you. Just so I'm not lying, oh, we're at 154, 22.8. I don't know what's going on. Uh, let's go again. Uh, 235. I'm going to have to move you, folks. Oh. Uh. Two sixty four. What did I set this thing for? Two twenty nine. Did I hit the wrong button? Oh, we're doing torque to angle. I bumped it. We're nowhere near. I have to loosen it here. When I grabbed it, I must have bumped it from torque to torque to angle, which we don't want to do. Let's see where we're at here. Well, apparently we hit it on the number. Two twenty nine says, okay. Uh, I guess we gotta do some cleanup now, don't we? Yup. Yeah. Alright, we got some tools here. If you're looking at getting this counteract stud cleaner, I'll give you some advice. Don't. These stupid little collars in here, they 
break off so quick. And then you're up a tree without a paddle or without a kite or without whatever you need when you're up a tree. Or up a creek without a boat or a paddle. It's bad. That's what I'm trying to say. Anyway, I think 3M makes one that's better. So I'll be getting that. Until then, oh, you're straddling my airline. Hopefully that's okay. Now, I'm not sure what it looks like to you. Uh, this middle section here is actually recessed. It is rusty, but it's it, uh, there's no surface contact there. Now a trick that I learned from Eric O over at South Main Auto on the SMA channel is uh, fluid film. For those of us in the rust areas, spray that in there and yeah, keep your calipers from getting stuck on so you don't have to use the hub grappler the next time. Oh, I forgot here, didn't I? I was gonna... I brought the tool over. There. And then, next time, somebody needs to get on in behind here. Bada boom, bada bing, good to go. say. Oh. oh, I thought I missed my chance for my wheel speed sensor, but it's not in behind the rotor like some of them are. I am, however, going to apply a little bit of that copper anti-seize. Uh, not that this will ever come back out, probably. I'm not sure when it's, or if it's had wheel bearings done, but if not, at 250 thou, it's probably going to need them before too terribly long, and so then it will get its new speed sensor. Actually, no, it won't. I lie. These are not into the hub portion, so that's why we're doing it. It's always, it's always a good reason. So I'd rather not fight with it. The next time it comes back to that. Or have it break. Or whatever. Now, we will tell him Condition of the brakes. Blue Loctite for your. Oh, this thing's leaking again on me. Gross. I didn't want to have oh, one of these spuffies coming off down the road. They're still. Three mil on the one side, not superbly even wear. Something to look at when we do the brake job, if we do the brake job on. Oh, oh, thought we had company. We're going to see the cafe. All right.
If I bring you closer, I'll bring you closer. This is as close as we can get. Camera's dying, so you're plugged into the wall on a limited leash. That's as close as I can get you. This is gonna be the longest video. Maybe I'll break this into two parts. I suppose if I, well, you already know that because this will be part two. Maybe I can shorten it up a bit. Maybe it just feels long to me because I've been working on it for two days on and off. Okay. And that's that. Not sure what that's for. Maybe that's just to help keep that on instead of. Yeah, I bet you it is. Certainly doesn't keep the water from getting in behind it. Tell you that. And once you've come this far, oh, interrupted again. <laughs> you're you're on my hose again. Oh, well, now I gotta adjust you. No, oh, you're good. Okay, where was I? I was about to clean off the bit. I was saying, while you're at it. While you're at it, clean off your wheels. That can be a source of vibration as well. Oh no, the wheels are torqued to plus or minus, well, 100 foot pounds plus or minus 15. So we'll give it 100, which should put us just over. All right, a little dirt on my face. Uh, that's it for your 2011 Dodge Durango. Uh, what do we do first? The, uh, uh, the tranny cooler and the AC condenser and the uh, JB welded bumper and then the CV axle. Uh, let me know in the comments what you would do if uh, either you were taking off a bumper and it was JB welded on or if you were taking off a bumper and you wrecked it and you needed to put it back on. Would you JB weld it? Would you zip tie it? Uh, would you do something different? Post in the comments. 
anyway, it is getting late and I still got to finish up Old Red over here. So uh, I'm going to move on. Why don't you move on down and hit the subscribe button if you like this video. Give us a thumbs up. And if not, let us know why, what we can do different. And we'll see you in the next video. All right, catch you later.